Britain is closer to having a Star Wars weapon. The British Ministry of Defense has successfully tested a new laser cannon named Dragonfire. It's the culmination of five years of development work and is estimated to have cost around 100 million pounds. Dragonfire, which is believed to be able to hit a target the size of a pound coin, is being viewed as a next-generation weapon. It promises to lower the cost of the military's lethal firepower and increase effectiveness with its pinpoint accuracy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Britain's Dragonfire laser could be a game-changer. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Dragonfire system was able to take out a quadcopter drone and pierce a range of metallic materials designed to mock the outer skins of aircraft and ships' hulls. Target boxes during the test reportedly measured less than 14 inches by 14 inches, roughly 0.13 square meters. Developed by the MOD's Defense Science and Technology Laboratory DSTL, the tests of the system involved targets up to a range of 2.1 miles or 3.4 kilometers. For safety concerns, the trial had to be contained within the range area, indicating the weapon could have hit targets further out. The exact range is classified. Laser weapons need different components. Dragonfire is a collaborative effort. It uses Quinetti Q's Phase Combined Laser Demonstrator, generating in the order of 50 kilowatts of power focused by Leonardo's beam director and delivered using MBDA's Advanced Image Processing and Command and Control C2 system. DSTL said in a statement that the outcome shows that the UK has world-leading capability in the technologies associated with laser-directed energy weapons. Ben Madison, DSTL's technical partner on the project, said Dragonfire has the potential to be something that could be absolutely game-changing. Our current weapon systems are large, expensive, heavy, and the logistics chain required to move them around is extraordinary. Something which we can just fire using a laser weapon and use on our platforms is potentially going to achieve the same effect at a much lower cost. He added that having Proven that the technology is effective was fantastically exciting. The MOD said the technology being developed in the Dragonfire system could provide the basis for a number of future weapon systems. It added that it was currently looking to understand how it could introduce a first generation of the system into deployment. Chris Allum, Managing Director of MBDA UK, said, these successful trials are the latest step in accelerating delivery of a UK sovereign laser-directed energy weapon LDEW, capability. MBDA, Leonardo, Quinetic Q, and DSTL working together are putting the UK at the forefront of research and technology in this field. The results from these trials have verified analysis and given the team confidence that Dragonfire will offer a near-term and unique capability. Steve Wadey, chief executive of Kinetic Q, a formerly public-owned defense contractor, said it can achieve an enhanced power density and increased engagement range that's scalable for future uses. Meanwhile, Mark Hamilton, a managing director at Leonardo, said, The Dragonfire project draws on our decades of high-energy laser and beam director heritage 
to put the UK at the very forward edge of what's possible in laser technology. The results of this live trial, which saw our beam director integrated into the Dragonfire system, were impressive. We are looking forward to the next stages of the program. Lasers are silent and invisible, and the speed of light enables them to hit their targets almost instantaneously. Laser weapons also don't need to carry ammunition like traditional systems, and hence they'll be able to take out a much larger number of threats, constrained only by the power supply limit of the platform. This is pretty significant, as traditional weapons can run out of ammunition when encountering a large number of incoming threats and need to be reloaded amidst a raging battle. The cost is also expected to be much lesser compared to traditional weapons. While laser weapons are not kinetic in nature, even a weak laser is capable of disrupting the optical guidance systems of incoming missiles and drones. Powerful laser weapons can further destroy a missile's flight control fins and can also thermally set off their warheads. Laser technology is still relatively new, and scientists and engineers around the world are working round the clock to master it. There are many challenges when it comes to using the laser for combat usages. For lasers to work efficiently over long distances, they require large power sources. They may also suffer a reduction of power in a hazy atmosphere and may cause thermal issues which require cooling. It seems British engineers have managed to overcome most of these issues. The tests at Port and Down bring the weapon system a step closer to production. Loitering ammunition and small drones are making their presence felt in the Ukraine conflict, and these techs are developing rapidly. Given the situation, weapons like Dragonfire is the need of the hour, and Britain's doing well to develop them. With the war in Ukraine showing that a conflict can be just around the corner, there's increased urgency, and Britain, being one of the key NATO members, needs to step up. Dragonfire, once operationally deployed, would be a massive step forward. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.